Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining me here, guys, as we got a bunch of games coming your way. We're going to do a three-pack here of NFL Sunday. We have been riding the hot trend here on Drew's Daily Diamond. What, 70%, 31 and 13, heading into the weekend, not counting Saturday's plays, guys. So, uh, hey, if you've been following along, profiting on this, up over 16 units over the last two and a half weeks, smash that like button. Helps me out with the algorithm on YouTube. Comment below what your NFL picks are for this Sunday. Guys, let's kick it off here. 10 a.m. Pacific time, Cincinnati and Cleveland. It's the Bengals at the Browns AFC North matchup here. Cincinnati comes in two and four on the season. Cleveland just one and five. 41 in the hook being the total, minus five in a hook. That is the Bengals as the road favorite. There is minus six out there. Do you want to start this off with, there's a trend to pay attention to here in the NFL. Road favorites, 9-0 against the spread last week, 12-0 against the spread the last two weeks here. So traveling in the NFL, hey, maybe it's being overrated, guys, because uh, the gold sheet came up with that nugget. And I'm looking here towards the Bengals. Part of the reason being that trend, trend is your friend in sports betting. So we're going to ride it here. Cincinnati's also 3-0 against the spread in their three road trips this season so far. And their defense just played well. Last time out against the Giants, Burrow, not so much, but I don't think he has back-to-back bad games here. I think he bounces back against uh, this Cleveland team that's lost four straight. Their only cover was last week against the Philadelphia Eagles in a game. They actually blocked a field goal and returned it for a touchdown right before halftime. Um, So I, I think it was a little bit more of like a lucky cover type deal. They were actually outgained in that in that game by 125 yards. So I don't think they're able to kind of replicate that cover again. That was their only touchdown of the game. And their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, he was sacked five times. He really hasn't been, you know, all, all that great shakes behind center so far this season. Cleveland, interesting schedule spot here, guys. Three straight road games. So this is their first game back home in Cleveland of the month. And you got to keep in mind, you know, the Guardians playing there in ALCS. So this might be one of the times where uh, baseball actually overshadows uh, the NFL. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of Bengals fans in, in the stands. Um, plus, Cleveland is last in the NFL in yards per play margin. Overall, guys, Cincinnati, kind of a dead number here, minus five in the hook. And I think they're the stronger team. We'll ride that road favorite trend. We're starting off in the early kick. Cincinnati Bengals minus five in the hook over the Cleveland Browns. Next one up, we're heading to the afternoon slate here. Kansas City Chiefs, San Francisco 49ers. Super Bowl rematch, of course, last year. 25 to 20 in overtime. A great game. Saw the Chiefs winning. Hey, we'll see if San Francisco can get them back here in a little revenge spot. But really, Kansas City's had their number. We are seeing San Francisco minus one and a half home favorites, 47 being the total. This is a 125 p.m. Pacific kick. Kansas City comes in 5-0, 4-1 against the spread. They've covered three straight. They've been making some money here. San Francisco, 3-3 straight up and ATS. They've lost, uh, what, three close games. But they've also lost three games outright as the favorite already. Of course, coming in here as the short favorite, something to pay attention to. Kansas City, off of a bye week, um, they're 9-1 and against the spread overall since last year. So 90%, their last 10 ATS, Andy Reid off of a bye week has been money for multiple seasons here. Their defense is holding their opponents to 60 yards below their opponent's average. I love that stat. That's number two in the NFL. So a lot of people think Patrick Mahomes, you know, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, Really, Kansas City's defense has been playing very, very well, letting up less than 14 points on average the last three games. Patrick Mahomes, as an underdog, 12-1 and against the spread, guys. There's a lot of trends pointing towards uh, the Chiefs in this one. I like it. I really do. It's going to be a tough game overall, a tight-fought game, but laying points here with San Francisco against a team that's had their number, I don't think so. Give me Patrick Mahomes plus the one in the hook. Hey, it might even land one, guys. Let's go Kansas City Chiefs over the San Francisco 49ers in the afternoon kicks. Guys, a reminder, if you comment below, it helps out the algorithm in the comments. 
Um, and also, check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. NFL has been on a huge run. Football, I mean, we're, we're, we're like uh, 70% the last three weeks. So it has been a nice run. If you're interested in premium packages, check them out. We get the 5% max limit going on the Monday night slate. So, uh, hey, premium packages, Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. The extended packages, if you buy next year, you get the rest of this year free. That is a special going on right now. But Hey, you can just buy plays for three day, seven day, whatever you want. Wagertalk.com. Sunday night football up next, 820 Eastern, 520 Pacific. We are talking the New York Jets, Pittsburgh Steelers. So we got one play, the early kicks, the middle kicks, and now Sunday night football for you. Jets, anywhere from minus one to minus one in the hook as the road favorite, 38 in the hook or 39 being the total. Jets come in two and four, both straight up and against the spread. Steelers, four and two straight up and against the spread. The Jets off three straight tight losses, including Monday Night Football last week, 23 to 20, going down to the Buffalo Bills. Before that, also the Minnesota Vikings, Denver Broncos, a little bit of a tough schedule here. They're also an interesting trend, 13 and 21 under run. That's uh, what, 38% overs, obviously huge percentage there, 62% to the under since 2020. That's as uh, what the, the 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 road favorite. Hey, they, any any time they're on the road, they have been a a under machine here, and they're up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, they did rebound last week against Las Vegas, but who doesn't rebound against the Raiders? Two straight losses before that, the Cowboys and the Indianapolis Colts. They likely have Russell Wilson taking snaps this week. Um, I, I just think there's kind of you know is he going to be rusty? Question marks quarterback wise. And combine that with the fact the Steelers' defense only letting up more than 20 points in a game just one time, uh, I don't think either team's going to have a lot of success on offense. I know you could point towards the Jets getting Devontae Adams back, and he's kind of uh, you know reunited with Aaron Rodgers, but I'd like to see a couple weeks of them actually having success and him into the system before I start to kind of risk money on that. Pitt defense allowing under 300 yards a game. Jets defense allowing under 275 yards a game. Two of the better defenses in all of the NFL. Plus the fact here, it comes down to the line of scrimmage. The Jets offensive line giving up 11 sacks the last three games. And their defensive line, 20 sacks year to date. So uh, defensive line is strong. Offensive line has their question marks. That usually helps out the defense, guys. And if you're looking for trends, how about this trend? Sunday night football, six straight to the under. So uh, you have to get an over. I don't think we get it here, guys. Seven straight unders after this one is done. So we are going Jets and Steelers. Looks like high watermark being 39. I don't think they get to 40 points, guys. So it's Jets, Steelers under 39. We talked about the Chiefs there as the dog. Patrick Mahomes, 12-1 against the spread as a dog. Plus one and a half on the Chiefs. And we got the Bengals as the favorite. Minus five in the hook kicking us off on Sunday. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond on Sunday. we got the Monday Night Football coming up uh, on tomorrow's show, so stay tuned for that. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Comment below. Let me know where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome, guys. Smash that like button. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thanks for tuning in.